linear systems of equations are the bedrock of modern-day scientific computing, be it the simulation of the universe, a car crash, or even subatomic particles, each and every one of them will rely at some point on the solution of a linear system of equations. As a rule, in scientific computing, the sizes of these systems range in the order of a few hundred thousand to a few billions of systems of equations and unknowns. Such systems are generally solved using iterative solvers, which can be accelerated by the use of preconditioners. And that was the goal of this project, to accelerate the solution of linear systems of equations by providing a fast method to compute good preconditioners. At the beginning, we started with a parallel C implementation, and it was our ultimate goal to port it to the GPU. However, before we did that, we had to analyze it theoretically to determine whether it makes sense. Simply put, Markov chain Monte Carlo matrix inversion boils down to the following. Take a matrix and create a city map, mathematically a graph, out of it. Then set a bunch of drunkards loose in town and keep track of the quarters they'll visit at random. Those are our Markov chains. Using these and a complicated formula, we can obtain an approximate inverse of the matrix. Now to compute the inverse of a matrix, we need the whole map on which we can let our people lose. This is expensive, especially if the matrix is big. So one of our ideas was to reduce the size of the matrix by dropping some rows. Now if we drop some rows, this will be equivalent to also dropping the column and this would be equivalent to just nuking the whole neighborhood. Not a good idea in reality and in mathematics. And it doesn't work. We also verified this using Python code. So we chose a different idea, which was basically to drop entries of the matrix which were smaller in magnitude than the chosen threshold. That one works, it accelerates our method, and this is what we will be implementing in CUDA to run on the GPUs. Markov chain Monte Carlo matrix inversion was not the only method I have tinkered with. Another way to solve a linear system of equations is via stochastic projection. The method is very simple, but unfortunately it is also non-competitive as our tests have shown. To make doubly sure of the results, I implemented the method along with stochastic projection in Python. Why Python? Because Python is much better for experimentation than C. And since the method was modified, I designed and implemented a whole set of tests to check the results obtained. Since I now know what I'm doing, I can finally create a GPU version of the Markov chain Monte Carlo matrix inversion method, which will be the next goal of the project. Though the praised summer of high performance computing, edition of 2017, is now over, and we have achieved our goal of accelerating the Markov chain Monte Carlo matrix inversion method for the computation of preconditioners, the project will continue, and the results are slated to be published.